because most likely you're not going to hold it in your hand anyway. What is up, guys? Team Movements here, and we got a fun deck profile. This is going to be the Frank Gallo. Finally, he's no longer poo. He was poo. <laughs> he wasn't poo. He was under supported. He, was, he was really, he was really under supported. But now we got more support. So starter is the guy that just came on the new set, Grand Hop, because he just hops away when you use his skill. Um, his skill is basically his act ability. When your Vanguard is 25 or higher, you can rest him, give the Vanguard 4k more power. And then if your Vanguard's in burst and you have and your Vanguard's going for 35 or more, you can put him into your soul, counter charge one, and then draw a card. So he goes away, you get an unflip back, and you draw. So it's pretty free. And the soul actually does make a difference in this deck because I do play the Glover Breath Clone. But we'll go into that detail later. But starting off with Grand Threes, we play four Grand Gallows. He is the deck. This is the card that you want to draw. This is the card that lets all your combos go off. Um, his best skill in book. I've actually used. It's GB2 actually won me like two games, so GB2 is not bad. His generation break two is basically if he's swinging for 22 or more, he gets an extra drive check. So basically, he's a stride. And this deck is not that hard to get him to swing for big numbers. I think the highest I ever had him swing was like 80 something. With, uh, when I throw. But um, his on fair ability is give the Vanguard plus 4k power. And if you hit, counter blast one and draw a card. Um, the draw card is more, the, the, um, the drawing card the skill is more of a pressure, but to gain the 4k power is the more important thing. That way you can get some skills off to go off with the deck. I was gonna say, I'm like, yeah, play the backup. Also There's a couple other cards you guys can, can play instead of him, instead of this guy. You guys can play the break, right? In case you guys want to run um, the Kaiser Leon, or if you guys want to run the um, that Earth. Um, Metal Bork, I don't like running Sin Buster because his great two mate doesn't do anything with the deck. And he can be G guarded. Metal Borks aren't as strong as they used to be. They're still, I still love them. I love the design, but I feel like they need some more support so they can focus more on. Other skills. Um, but this guy's really good. He has his active ability to that counter boss one, Vanguard 15k or more, give it 4k power and give a rear guard 4k power. And on ride, it's basically the generic on ride, counter boss one, and so boss one, check that five for our unit with burst. So, no, you don't want to ride him. That's why we play four side neighbors and four this guy. But he's still not a bad, a bad backup. So now we can get more power. Great cues. We play four grand revolver. This car is good. There's a reason why he came out to board. NSP, apparently. All right, so act ability. Burst, when your Vanguard is swinging for 35 or more, counter blast one, give a unit 4K power and the Vanguard 4K power. <laughs> <laughs> and base and then if this unit hits gains the D ability this unit hits counter charge too so this guy is always constant pressure so if you hit you basically get all your counter blocks back yeah and he's very devastating on the grand gallop um strike turn on the x gallop strike turn and that's if he swings like, for 30 that's if he swings for 30 my bad swings for 30 which is not that hard when you stride and you use the skill he's already at 30 and then getting him to abnormal numbers is not that hard I know, Oh, and the best part is that he's not G break one. Yeah, he's not GB one. He just burst. This guy is so good. This is the Glamour Breath Clone, Counter Boss One, Soul Boss One. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Soul is really important because this guy is basically. It's basically I'm gonna draw a card. When the Vanguard, when when after you pay the cost, this unit gains 4K power, and the Vanguard gains 4K power. If the Vanguard swings for more than 40, you draw a card. So. This card is amazing. My favorite thing was to do with him was to, what I did was I went into Dark Superhuman and then I called two of these out, made them 20k lanes, and so since they were at zero, 20, they had to waste two tens and a five to guard. But he's really good. And then finally, um, I took out the Amber Clone and I'm running three some um, Grand Sub. This guy's actually really good. Um, he doesn't do anything until you get. He gains power, but his skill is if he gains 4k power, give the Vanguard 4k power, and the skill if it hits. 
hits, you retire a unit. So you're giving the Vanguard more pressure. And that's what this deck is supposed to be about. That's what the Mental Place has always been about. Vanguard always has pressure and skills. So we get living. Like, Great ones. I played four of the unflipped perfect guard. You guys can play the new perfect guard, but like I said, soul kind of matters with the glimmer breast clone, and I need the unflips. So unflipping is very important for stride neighbors because this is a stride based deck, and I don't want to ride the other guy. I want to ride Grandel. I play with two grand choppers because he really screws up people's guards. If they're planning to guard the Vanguard, which I don't know why, um, you can give him when you drive take a trigger. Because his skill is basically this: if he gains 4k power, kind of plus one, give two rear, um, give two units 4k power. So, say the Vanguard swing for uh, 37, and you hit a trigger, give him the power, so you're 42. Scale, kind of plus one, give the Vanguard 4k power. So now you're 40. So if they gave you three to pass, that one trigger just now made it just one more trigger. Just one more trigger. So it just became a two to pass. So he screws up people's guards. You want to play? I play the promo. My bumper up. So I'm not liking this guy anymore. But the promo is really good. The skill is rest. Give a unit 4K power. If you have a banger with the burst ability, which is the Grand Gallop Stride. You give the basket, bacon, and sausage. You give the banger. You give uh, the banger 4K power. So really good. And I play stand, so he's gonna restand. And then this guy. I'm um, not liking him too much because he's only in on call ability, but he's really good. Um, burst, when the Vanguard is, when he's, placed, when he's placed, if the Vanguard's 15 or more, he gains 4K power. And if the Vanguard is 30 more or, or more, you give, you choose one of your Vanguard and give it with Grand Gallop in the same and get 4K power. Um, so he's in 11K boosting, it's really good, but it's only for the turn. So this is my main thing that I'm not liking about him. I might just take him out and just bump her up to four or just three and three. That might be what I'd be doing. But I, I, I liked them at first and then it just kind of just changed. Um, I do play Sans. I play four of this girl. She's really good. Where are you? Oh, there you are. He's huge. So, her skill is, it's an active ability. So you can call her early and just like rush your opponent. Um, her skill is basically, go back into the deck, give the Vanguard 4k power, and if your Vanguard attacks in swinging for 37 or more, you draw a card. It's pretty easy. If you do play Laurel, you can get more, you can just draw more cards. Um, if you do want to play Laurel, which, eh, I don't see the point, you just take these two out and you play Laurel. There's a shit ton. But I don't see the point because you do run out of deck very quickly, and if you don't kill your opponent, then you deck out. I play 8 crits, of course, for the Grand Gallop crit. And the card that I've been waiting for for a very long time, four of a female heel trigger. Oh God! Finally. You know Justice Rose is a female heel trigger, right? That thing's ugly. It's so ugly. It doesn't matter. It's a female heel trigger. But it's so ugly. So is the robot from Metal Boards. This girl's actually at least cute. I've been waiting for a human for so long. Nova Grappler got a freaking cheerleader. For you. All right. We talk about G guard, G zone. G Guardians, I play two of X um, Caribou. Um, basically, on guard, if your opponent is um, command for 30 or more, this unit gains 10k um, guard, and if you can discard one, give the, you may discard one. And you may discard one and give the Vanguard 4k power permanently. So basically, your Vanguard for the whole turn is more of a cross -ride. And it's this guy basically replaced Screw. You don't need to play Screw. This guy is better than Screw. I play one Nickman's Patriot. If your opponent Vanguard is if your opponent has your guard for more than 20, it gains 5k shield. So 31k shield. And one Dismal. Because you need Dismal. Honey, what are you going to have, baby? What are you gonna have today? Can I get an order of the bacon tater tots? Four X Tigers, because X Tiger is actually stupid. Well, you, this, this, this game. Game. you can actually first turn X Tiger. This is the only good thing about Grand Gallop. You can always X Tiger first and try. Skill is flip up anything. And for every face of card in your G zone, if you swing for 35 or more, you gain a crit. So, amazing. The drink. Oh, uh, I'll come back. The card that made this deck come back, that made 
the deck is Tekken 7 with Akuma in it. Alright, so basically, his skill is when he attacks, Cannon Blast 1, flip up anything in your G-Zone. If your Vanguard is swinging for 30, um, 30 um, 5 or more, you get an extra drive stick, so 4 drive sticks. And if your Vanguard is swinging for 40 or more, all your rear guards gain 4k power for every face of copy of this guy in the G-Zone. All your front row rear guards. Everyone in your front row. So, skill, swing, Cannon Blast 1, flip up anything. Usually you already have him one flipped up because you use X Tiger as a first turn stride. Or you use a G Guard, use him, everyone gets big. And then it just keeps getting more devastating as you keep using him. He's really good. Four drive six is ever is always scary. More likely to hit a trigger and your rear guards get big. It's really good. I play one C Breeze, it's still a G break deck. I need my G B one to be active, so play one C Breeze. Usually I don't use him, usually he gets flipped up by either him or by um X Tiger. I play one guy from Fighters because I have space. Never use him, but he's there. Um, if his skill is if, when he attacks, if he doesn't hit, the Vanguard is 35 or more. Count of one draw card. So it's basically Grand Gallop skill if you don't hit. So hit or don't hit, you can still draw a card. Um, I play one <laughs> Hex Falcon. This card is hilarious. If he's 35 or more, if he hits, Counter Blast 2, discard one card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and put it as their damage face down. So if you hit no trigger and they were at 4 damage, they chest the Vanguard, they lose. They automatically lose because they have to take that damage. And it goes face down. So even if it was a heal trigger, no, you're dead. I had somebody take. Take that today in tournament. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> And then finally, one Dark Superhuman. Um, he won me, oh god, this guy won me like three games. He was so good, he's hilarious. Cannon Blast 2, um, put a unit into your soul, and Soul Blast 1. And then your opponent, everyone, your opponent's front row, which is power equal to that unit put in. So if you have a grade 3, which usually I call him out, I call him out, so that way you make your opponent Vanguard lose a lot of this game. No one's playing a cross right anymore, so basically, their Vanguard's at zero, and it's really good. If you can make your rear guards bigger by either through him or care or revolver, and then basically 20k column, so you basically are like the leaders. <laughs> so he's really good. Alright guys, that's the deck and that's him we're signing off.